Hey, it's Wabbit. I hope you're well. I wanted to uh, share with you a product that I found. If you're in the market looking for a Bluetooth uh, MIDI device, I've got this X5 uh, Bluetooth MIDI connection device here. Uh, this is not sponsored. They did not pay me. They did not send this. I bought this with my own $39 off of Amazon. Uh, after watching this video, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. It is not an affiliate link. But I uh, wanted to share this option with you. I know there's two others on the market. Uh, I think they're a little more expensive. But I have found that this thing works. So I want to hook it up to the MIDI keyboard. And then we'll hook it up to the microfree because I want to show you uh, using the uh, 3.5 millimeter to MIDI cables uh, that it works with that. So the device, when it comes, it's actually two separate units. It'll come uh, like this uh, out of the box. Basically, you just plug this into this particular one here this is going to be the midi out this will be your midi uh, in and uh, basically the manual goes through everything um, i'm just hooking it up to an ios device that has other options on there i haven't tried using this between uh, devices i'll try that later and i only have one of these i'm thinking about buying a second one to see if i can use this with multiple devices and i'll do that in another video so let me go ahead and hook this up to the midi keyboard and, and show you on the ipad how that, uh, this works okay you're also going to need to download if you haven't let me see if i can get this in close here this midi mitter app i'll leave that name in the description as well too um, so once you have your device powered on um, you'll come down to devices and you'll see the X5 MIDI. Let me bring this up here. Apologize. That's not in focus. That's on me. But uh, you'll want to go ahead and get this uh, downloaded on your iOS device. I don't know if this is for Android. I would imagine that it is, but don't quote me on that. Uh, I don't have any... Uh, Android devices. So this says not connected. I go ahead and tap on that and it will be connected. So let's go ahead and pull up. Uh, I'll do GarageBand just for this example. And I want to make sure that I've got Bluetooth turned on in GarageBand. Uh, Bluetooth MIDI devices were connected here. So I should, when I press on the Arteria uh, key step there, should get some sound. And I'll try the chord function here real quick. Oh, it's just to turn on. Yeah, so that works great. No latency there. So uh, that works perfect with the MIDI keyboard. Next, let me hook it up to the um, Arturia using these 3.5 millimeter to MIDI cables just to show you that uh, that works as well too. All right, let's get some volume on here, and let's give this a shot. Oh, do I have it connected? Yeah, so anytime you unplug it from one device, you need to go back and make sure that it is connected. And let's see if we get some, a little bit of a delay there, but once it took that first one, good to go. So I just wanted to show you that uh, it works, that option. So again, just make sure that you connect with each one. So that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing exciting in terms of it, it works. I haven't had any issues with any latency. I'm outside of you saw that first note here on the Microfreak. Um, I keep everything pretty close, so I can't answer any in terms of distance. Um, so you can kind of check the manual out on that. Uh, but give it a shot. Um, if you're looking for a budget option, uh, works great, no issues. I'm gonna, again, try and get a second one. And uh, I'll try and do this between our devices and uh, probably do another video. But I uh, hope this helped in your uh, research decision making. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching. Get out there, create, don't hesitate. Talk to you later.